In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play with the T110 E4. I'm going to show you lots of sniping positions that you didn't know about and just in general share ideas on how to play this tank. And as an example, I'm going to talk about Westfield where there is lots of tanks who is playing cooldown and I'm going to show you one tricky position that allows you to get lots of damage totally for free. How do you like it? First, let's equip our tank. I am using Rammer in firepower slot and once I had field mods to unlock second category, I chose survivability. And the reason behind it is because I want to have hardening for the maps like Ensk, Himmelsdorf or when in general I'm playing against low tiers that has larger area that I need to pen. So I don't need to use ventilation for extra accuracy and gun handling for the situations when I'm fighting tier 10s and I really have to make sure that my shots connect aiming for the cupolas at uh, higher tiers. And the last one, the most important piece of equipment for the E4, improved mobility system. Not only you boost your reverse speed, that is only 10 and often you're gonna find yourself in situations when you want to get back, but you are too slow. But also it gives you extra gun handling. Minus 5% of the dispersion on the moving vehicle meaning you will be able to connect more shots on the move or simply spend less time aiming and that's how i equip my e4 let's get to the field mods the biggest mistake you can make is to choose right field mod at level 2 because you're gonna lose 30 percent durability on your tracks and that is gonna allow even light tanks to knock your tracks out within the first shot shoot the back mm -hmm. instant track Mm -hmm. Now let's change it and see the difference uh, like you need to go for the track HP because literally everyone that you meet on the battlefield is going to be able to track you Yeah, it's it's only damage now Let's see mm -hmm. if it's just a luck. I'm gonna repair it Do it again You shot for 339 yep. and my track HP is 325 Meaning that anyone that rolls 326 and plus is going to track me instantly. And if we are choosing other field mode, getting a little bit more full traverse speed, track HP is going to down to 175. Meaning literally anything is going to track me within the first shot. As we know, tr hardening improves your track HP. And if it's in the survivability slot, your track health goes up to 536, meaning that you are able to pick against IS-7s, WZ-5A, and if they don't high roll, they won't be able you to track. And that's why having hardening is very important on maps where you want to brawl. The rest of the mods, you always want to go for higher accuracy, extra view range, because concealment after firing, guys, literally, Pay attention, 166, we choose field mode 188. It's so minimal and situation where it's going to be useful is like non-existent because you want to play with this tank aggressive. And of course, you want to have a field mode that reduces your reload time. Minus 2% of the hit points is nothing because you're gonna get 2% of the hit points once you get all of the field modes. Speaking of the last one, I think it's not worth it. Because you want to play with the E4 on the heavy side, basically like a heavy tank, you don't need that many crew skills. But because you brawl, that's why having crew skills for repair and brother in arms are going to be the most important. For the commander, because he is radio operator at the same time, you want to have these two for higher view range. Gunner and driver will have these blue crew skills that increase your gun handling and for the loader the most important skill of the whole tank of the whole crew is intuition to be able to switch to the he and deliver 1000 damage on soft targets when it's needed yeah boy you want to have safe storage on one of the loaders because your ammo rack is in front of the tank and you're gonna lose it quite often and for the gunner you want to have dead eye to have a higher chance of setting enemies on fire. Bro, bro, dude, 929 aimed for the fuel tank set on fire. Oh, I love this tank, man. And for the driver, if you have crew skills, choose off-road driving. With that, you're going to be slightly bit faster. 
But that's pretty much all you need to know on how to set up EFO. While playing with EFO, you have to keep in mind that you cannot play on the reaches, you cannot play cooldown. So I'm always looking for the possibility to either do damage at the enemy cross or fight at the corners if possible. I would say T124 is like a support. You always want to be surrounded by the enemies because you have not fully rotational turret and quite long reload. But because of your high penetration Later with your AP and APC rounds, if you are playing at the corners, once enemy reload and go back in cover, you are able to peek and just pre-aim. And it doesn't matter how good they are at side scraping and how great the armor they have, you almost gonna be able to pen them with the APC rounds. And that is what I'm going to be focusing in this video. Try not to play cooldown against tank who is capable of playing cooldown and instead be at the corners. Because I want to make sure that I will reload safely. In the first game moment I would like you to pay attention how I'm playing on the corner against the seven lines. I'm gonna keep this part unedited so you can see all of the mistakes that I make but also how strong this thing really is. With your AP series, you pan object to 79 on upper plate like there is no armor whatsoever. And I would like you to pay attention how I'm always making sure the various teammates around me. Because E4 is very easy target to take by numerous uh, He's enemies. playing well. So that's what you need to do. Okay, okay. This is YouTube moment right here, guys. Two to seven nines. What could you wish for? For better. I need to wait for my team. Oh, at least one of them to fire. They didn't fire, my bad. Maybe it was Panzer 7 that fired. Nerfing them before the nerf, guys! Ihanda, please! Why are you afraid? Yeah, yeah, how lucky. Bro, imagine I would have 800 HP now. <laughs> Dude, it's so dumb! I like it! But my team is very scared. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My team have left has left me. <gasps> Yo, how is the trades, bro?
Until the next time, bro. And we are moving on Westfield. First thing that I do whenever I start the game is pay attention to the enemy setup. We have 60 TP and triple Kappa's under. Those tanks are going to dominate reach lines and there is no chance I will be able to do anything against them. So let me show you how I deal with this. Okay, that's the position guys. You go in here and you just wait for those guys to pick. How do you like it? Combine! With the three dollars, thank you! New PC challenge. No, it's not even a challenge. Like, now that I'm in Germany... Like, I, wa I, I want to get a better PC and just deduct it from my taxes. Like... You know what I mean? No, I was greedy guys. I was greedy. I knew I should have aimed fully, but how do you like the position? 279 is a bait? Exactly, man. Thank you very much combined once again for your support. And the, like I was here with the trash barn guys and I was not getting spotted. Bikini change. No bikini change. What are you talking about, guys? The best part about this position, though, you got to, you get a little bit closer, and you can see those guys. Oh wait, 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 wait. Bro, I think I will be playing. I I will be using this all the time now on Westfield. All the time, bro. Like you don't have to play full down at all. And this is what makes E4 enjoyable for me. You have to be creative in order to be able to make it work. And on Siren Coast, I'm going to show you how creativity is gonna give me one of the most exciting E4 moments in my life. Solid position. I was always wondering what is the best position to do damage at the, uh, there because they get spotted there every single game. And now let's pay attention on the minimap. We have only one thing that is pushing aggressive, IS-7. There Two even hungers that we have are very slow and most likely to be sitting behind. So I'm not going to commit and help i7, but instead I'm gonna try to trade him because I will have no chance against the overwhelming amount of enemies that uh, we are about to face. Should I consider running already? I would say so. Actually... The game is going to its end.
Bro, I think I can pick him easily. Because they were running back. It might not be that easily anymore though. Sicilian defense? Yeah, right. I can't understand how are they in cover there. I take it bro, not not with the hardening but it's fine. Okay. Whoo bro damn They literally have no tanks. How's games today? It's wild bro. Everybody knows that World of Tanks players, they don't care and they do stupid shit, right? Well, today it's a new level of stupid shit. Can I Amorak him? Like, please. Maybe next shot. He has a reload on me, right? Nine hundred three. We take that. We take that. I think E4 is going here. Would you like to pick, sir? Yeah, try me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try me, bro. He's this sir this sir right here This pun is very upset Oh he is very upset <laughs> I thought he's gonna pay visit to me Guess what? He just hates to seven nine I mean good luck for you bro Blocking my 375 reasons why your tank doesn't have that much armor. Did he pan? No, he died. I mean, it is just ideal situation for my tank. Just as good as it can get. Look, 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 guys. <laughs> Hello, bro. Ow. She could see quite a lot of my tank. What are you scared of, man? Just go! Enemy armor is 
Uh oh. No, um... Don't wait to go in the same game with me, please. It's, uh, it's, it's not a very nice experience for me. Like, streamers don't like when uh, viewers do this. Just play your game. And if afterwards you find out you, we are playing together, just say hello. But don't do that. It's it's not very nice. Because if if I'm against you, you're just gonna go and kill me. You know, it's it. Don't do that. Quite a lot of damage. Damn, 7k? That is pretty much everything that I know about Ifo. And if you are going to try my equipment, field mods and ideas that I shared with you and it's going to work, please go to Twitch channel and uh, say how is it because it is valuable feedback. It is quite unusual format of the video, so please make sure to let me know how you like it. And if it's not working with EFO, make sure you're gonna tell me that as well, okay? I'm going to try to do my best to improve videos in the future and if this format is uh, something that you guys want, we definitely going to make more. Thank you for watching and until the next time. Oh, and in case you missed a video where we get like 5 penetrations with the H's, with E4, it's going to be somewhere around, so make sure to check it out.